Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick heads up that Microsoft apparently is investigating problems while trying to activate Windows 10 and Windows 11, where there are now reports from some users who are trying to use uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8, 8.1 product keys to reactivate Windows 10 or 11 that are running into activation issues trying to use those product keys. Now, um, as I have mentioned uh, in the past, um, you could use, up until recently, your Windows 7, 8 product keys um, in the past for activating Windows 10, Windows 11, basically a free upgrade using your um, older product keys. And for this recent issue now, Microsoft has confirmed that they are working on a solution and have said that they are aware of these customer reports and are investigating. They also mentioned that customers who are experiencing technical difficulties should contact customer support. So that's the official word from Microsoft. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, which I'll leave down below, Microsoft ended free upgrades from Windows 7 and 8 to Windows 11 at the end of September this year. And Microsoft's free upgrade offer for Windows 10 11 ended officially on July the 29th, 2016. And the installation path to obtain the Windows 7 or 8 free upgrade had been removed as well. And uh, um, as I mentioned, that's basically just a quick, quick recap of that previous video, which will be down below. Now, um, apparently, the activation issues when trying to use a Windows 7, 8 um, older product key to activate Windows 10 or Windows 11 that previously worked um, apparently the issues are arising when trying to change or swap out hardware on activated devices. So as many of you may know, um, if you change a motherboard, you've got to reactivate your device in most cases. But with this, even BIOS updates apparently are causing and asking for a reactivation on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that's a bit extreme. So there is obviously an issue. And as mentioned, Microsoft, if you are affected by this, say they are working on a solution. Now, um, just on a side note, um, if you are wanting to see, as an example, in Windows 11, if your device is activated, as I have posted previously, you head to your settings system. You scroll down a little bit on the, on the system page. Yeah, you will see activation, activation state, subscriptions, product key. You click on that and yeah, you can see activation state. And as always, um, if it's got a little green tick, then obviously your device has been activated. So that's just a side note to see and check if Windows 11, as an example, is activated. But just thought I'd post this quick video because um, if you are trying to use one of those older product keys from Windows 7, 8, Microsoft say they are investigating and are working on a solution. And if I get any more info, obviously I'll post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.